Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday and we have a lot of stuff that needs to go out, and I mean a lot of stuff. I've been poorly. Well, I've had teeth out. Oh, poor you. But that means now I'm backlogged. I've got 29 items on eBay that need to go out. 17 have to be out within 24 hours. I've got a load of vintage to do as well. So I think what I'm going to do is get the vintage done first, just to move them out. Should I pick a load of stuff? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a load of stuff, have it all out, so we can just run through it in turbo speed. That's a nice hat from Vinted. Three pound, Typhoon, Les Squadron. Yeah. Sorry, I'm... Let me pick some stuff. Three pounds, I paid a pound from the sale rail at the charity shop, is this Tommy Hilfiger golf quarter zip thing, whatever, it's like a quarter button top thing. Had this for ages. Three pound on Vinted. So, three X my money. Can't argue too much, can we? And for two pound now, another item that was sitting around for ages, so I just sent out offers on it, is this L cap. It's a really nice one, actually. A little hit on the front embroidered, a little hit on the back, nice colors. A few little marks and stuff, but you expect it, don't you? This has sold to Jen's Jewels. She sent me a message saying, I love your YouTube channel, thank you very much. So thank you ever so much to you as well. I've never shared a vintage store before, so I don't know if you want me to or not, but I'm guessing I can. If you want some lovely jewellery, pretty little things as well, head on over to Jen's Jewels. Jen, massively appreciate it. I'm assuming your name's Jen. Now, I'm not looking forward to getting through to the eBay stuff in a minute, because most of it is sold for 99 pence. So I've got a lot of work to do for nothing. After 99p plus 2.99 postage, that's four, three quid, so 3.99, about 15% fees. Talking about, well, 10% is going to be about 40p, 20% is going to be about 80p on a four pound sale. Postage is going to be £2.98, 2.99, whatever it is. Probably lose a penny. But the stuff was sitting around for coming up to a year. It just had to go, man. Just had to move it. So we did. But anyway, let's carry on with the vintage stuff. We've sold that as well. Cool, for five pounds. So somebody asked me if it was still available first. I can see why, it's been there for a month. For five pound is a vintage Deodora jacket. I paid, I think it was all part of a 30 pound bundle. So it owes me about 60p, I think. Not too shabby at all. Okay, for five pounds now, we have sold the two Anne Geddes doll things. I think I paid two pound from a car boot sale, pound each. So three pound profit. It is what it is. Look how cute they are, look. I didn't mean to say that. I'm well out. I don't care about how cute a baby is. So yesterday I had two teeth taken out. I was recording before I had the teeth out. And then obviously the next day came. I've decided to try and put the video out still anyway. So hopefully it wasn't too much of a shambles. But it'll still be something for you to watch, won't it? I'm in absolute agony this morning. But I'm refusing to take painkillers. Oh, you're just good. Only because I want to make sure everything's going well with it. I want to be able to feel any pains and aches so I can target any site that needs to be addressed. People think that's stupid. Whatever, it's down to me, innit? Oh, I've sold the Monopoly for six pounds. You can't sell board games. It sells for about ten pound on eBay. I've sold it for six on Vinted. Same money, basically, innit? we go and my last most recent and favorite sale on vinted is the last pair of dr martins somebody sent me an offer this morning of 30 pound i de declined and said went back at 40 i think they sent a question mark or something and then somebody else paid 50 outright so suck on that loser 50 pounds let me just grab these parcels, get them sorted out, and then we can move over to the eBay sales. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff to pick now for eBay, so I'm gonna do that, and then we can go through it together. Oh look, here's my light, and I've picked out specially to use. Better. Well, let me empty this bin, and then when I come back, we can pick everything out that needs to come out, because it's gonna be a big old pile. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to it. Because like I said, a lot of it is 99 pence work, so it's actually still the same amount of work that I need to do on high value stuff, just without the value. Right, let's get it. Custom screw label. B, B, A, A. Okay, B, B, B. 
Okay, I'm just gonna pick it and come back to you. Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. Is that everything or is that just the 17 that needs to go out? Everything, fine. Okay, for the weekend orders, for a grand total of 538 pounds and 48 pence. 12 pounds 29 for a Pirelli cap. Another Pirelli cap for 12 pounds. We have officially started profit on that big bundle of 55 pound hats we bought. We're officially into profit, baby. 99, £3.98, I'm gonna do the all in total because when I do the all in total, which is gonna be £3.98 for a lot of them, that's 99p one bid plus 2.99 postage. So £3.98 all in for this Cezanne coin purse, I never know how to say it, just picked it up one day. £3.98 for this Sony remote control, never been used, still has a little tag in it. £3.98 for these Windsor Newtons that I paid £2.54, brand new and sealed. I say brand new, they're still sealed inside. £3.98 for these little scale model train people. £3.98 for a Sony remote control. Remember, it's all just sticking around. No views, no watches, no, no nothing like that. Bearing in mind, if you are a subscriber and you haven't left me a note, it's gonna be difficult for me to know exactly who you are. So if you did want a shout out, you'd have to let me know. But this one is a repeat customer, so I'm not too sure if you're a subscriber or not, but if you are, Graham, appreciate you. Uh, £3.98, I paid 20 pence each at a car boot sale. I've lost money. A lot of it I've lost money on. 99p for syphilis. Can't get that cheaper anywhere else, can you? Uh, £3.98 for a little dinosaur. £180.05 all in for the Rangers top they paid. £10 all in for this little dinky Macano car. It's an Alfa Romeo. £14.99 for the last Ikea mirror. Finally, that's gone out the door. Happy with that. Happy, happy days. £17.09 all in for these Jane and Stephen Bourne um, Aston Pottery mugs. One's got a pheasant, one's got a bird. You remember, I'll put it on Instagram for you. Uh, this was bids and actually did, I'll say okay. I'll repeat buyer, Edward. If you're a viewer or not, I'm not too sure, but I appreciate you bro anyway, because you're a repeat buyer. I said messages about some of the hats that I've just sold. Haven't posted them yet, so hopefully, let's have a look and see what they want to do. Can you cancel, please? So £9.17 all in for the Game Boy Nintendo Wii adapter and Xbox and PS2 and a bunch of Pokemons, Pokemon toys. £9.17 all in for that little bundle. So Edward, appreciate you, mate. Steve, Mr. AKO Fat Hog. I picked up the two Smurf items. I do need to remember before I listen to him to tell him because he likes the Smurf stuff. I just forgot that time. Four pounds and three pence all in for the Blu-ray for the Casino Royale. Three pounds 98 for a Sony Flash. Eight pounds 89 all in for a bunch of five video cassettes and the Marlboro bag. Eight pounds 89 all in. Massively appreciate that, Paul. Three pounds 98 now for the Minton Haddon half pin tray boxed set. A note says, hi Ricky, I've been watching your channel for some time now. Top bloke, I love the videos. Keep doing what you're doing, Helen. Helen, thank you so much, darling. I appreciate that. It's good to move stuff on. Hopefully you will enjoy them. £10 all in for this Liberty London silk tie. Paid £1 from a car boot sale from the lady who tried to charge me £20 a pair of Dr. Martins. Uh, Charlie, now massively appreciate this. I think you are a... I'm pretty sure you are. CM Buy and Sell. I recognise that name. £6.89 all in for the Pirates of the Caribbean mug and the Lost in Space blarp. £3.98 for a Sony Walkman adapter. £8 for a Sony remote control, brand new, paid 50p from a Chazza the other day. £3.98, I paid £2.50 for that, remember? So I've lost money on that. Ah, the Reading Mizuno top, sold for £75. But the chap, because I live near Reading, actually from Reading. So he came and picked it up, left positive feedback, happy days. £75 on that one, let's mark that as dispatched. Yeah, that's done. And then we'll see what that message is in a minute. So we're almost done now. Um, right. £7.42 for a SkyQ remote control. £46.98 for one of the little handbags. This is the Eros one. I've still got the bundle of three sat there. I might split them up to be fair. Nobody's paying £99 for the whole bundle. So I might just split them up and charge 50 quid each for them. And for £59.95 all in, we have finally sold the boots. I paid £25 for these from a charity shop thinking I was gonna get at least 90 quid. I was getting lots of offers and things like that. I put them auction, got loads of watches. Nothing happened, so. What can I say? 60 quid all in, 25 pound paid. Should be able to clear, what, 15, 20 quid profit, hopefully. Well, let's see what this message was. It was on one of them Pirelli hats. Hi there, if you haven't already dispatched, can you please send it to, <laughs> no. Wants me to send it to a different address. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. So I'll be telling him to cancel the order and then update his address. You can't be doing that. 
All right, we're getting somewhere. We're almost done. We've got two IKEA bags full. I've got one order of two mugs, two order of two mugs, mirror, the hat that I'm waiting on, and the boots to do. My brain gets to a point where it's done the same thing for so long that it just gets bored, needs to switch off and do a different task. But I'm fighting for it today. I'm actually beating it. Usually I will give in to it and say, come on then, let's do a different task. But I'm so close now. So close that I might as well continue it. I'm currently in talks with quite a large business, quite a large company in a sponsorship opportunity. So we're just going through those at the moment and working out the ifs, whens, whats, whys, hows. But it'll be my biggest one ever. And I've done Timu, QuickBooks, FlexiSpot. I always counter offer basically. Depending on what they're offering, if I think it's too much of a dog's body kind of taking the piss kind of thing. I don't care who you are, I will counter off you because um, I'm not desperate to do sponsorships. But keep an eye out for that one. It would be very, very good if it happens. Right, last three things to do. Lovely. So all that's left to do now is the boots, but they can wait, if I'm honest. The Pirelli hat has came back and said basically they're away from their address until a certain time and they don't want it hanging around outside. They've asked me to please delay the dispatch, which I am absolutely fine to do. Pirelli furs. And like I said, these boots can wait until tomorrow, or at least until later, because I've got a lot of packages that need to come out. Three IKEA bags full. Three bags full. And a couple of loose ones. But those loose ones are going to be DPD and Royal Mail. I decided to try Royal Mail large letter by dropping it off. Normally, whenever I do a large letter, it doesn't ever get there. It always seems to go missing. Conveniently. So we'll see how they get on with it once I actually scan it through. Trash the place posting, but that's what happens, isn't it? Let me have a little tidy up and sort this place out. Because it's disgusting. Disgusting in a good way though. It's been used for work, hasn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure that I owe you guys a charity shop haul. <laughs> so yesterday I was just too sick to carry on the video, so I stopped and said I'll show you again. I'll show you today. So I'm gonna show you today. I am sorry about that. I'm sure you can understand though. I just had two teeth pulled out of my head. First thing, for £2 I picked up this North Sea board game. Haven't checked it out yet, but for two quid I'll take a risk on that. It sells for between 20 to 30 pound online, so no drama. Five pound paid for this Dior Vernis nail varnish and gel, like a lacquer gel overlay kind of thing. Gel coat, paid five pound for that. Only because I saw somebody had sold just the varnish alone before for like eight quid, so I thought, a little set like that, rather bash. Picked up a little bug magnifier for Ada. For three pound we've got this something special coloured cross stitch thing they sell quite quickly for like 12 to 13 pound in that size so for three pounds i didn't mind it okay this is from the puppet company which is quite a well-known brand when it comes to puppets and toys and soft toys but i actually don't know who this figure is yet obviously i would have put a screenshot up by now it looks very gruffalo-ish but i know it's not the gruffalo but yeah i don't know who this is but i think you're supposed to put your fingers in here Bottom, 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 bum, bottom, bum. 75 pence. The Puppet Company is a very good brand, so for 75 pence, even though I don't know who the character is, even if it is a character, it's still worth the purchase. Estimation 10 to 12, hopefully, is a character and we can get more. And this was a wild buy. I paid five pounds for this. Can you guess what it is yet? No, it's not binoculars. This is, I say a wild buy because it's either worth money or it's not, but it's got a case. We've got a flask, it is thermos, very sort of 50s and 60s design colour. That lovely brown and sand. But it's got Timothy Whites on there, which I believe used to be a chemist before boots. But it also could just be Timothy White's box. We've got a matching lunch box with lid. Uh, we've got a pot here by Siram. 
and two cups. So it's like a little picnic set, like a little, you know, sandwiches in there, two cups, a cup there, flask full of whatever, all in a nice little carry case. I'm guessing that carry case might have before been for some kind of binocular or something, and it probably wasn't ever designed for this, but everything fits in there perfectly, so maybe it was. Maybe it was, but I paid £5 for that. I'm hoping 2025. I think I might be, might be, uh, what's the word? Hoping a bit too much there, but we can always give it a bash, can't we? So there we go. That's the haul from yesterday. So apologies for the way yesterday's video ended. I had no choice. I was dying, but I still did a little bit for you, and we've managed to tie it up in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>